Oh, this is. I also want to point out this. Thunder. Well, this nursery was just. It's just a reminder of how shitty toys were back then. <laughs> We've gotten so much better Error. at toys. All of these toys look awful. That nothing looks like any fun. Like yeah. this. This like is that, just a porcelain pigeon. Like, like what is this? Two minutes. Yeah. Um, Thirty seconds. Okay, then this would be the Cliffs of Monterey, right? I believe. Yes. That's supposed to be Bar Harbor, but that's totally modern. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ellen comes up to the nursery, too, while they're redecorating. Yeah. And she, she gets, gets upset. She, well, she gets shamed for climbing stairs. Do pregnant women, are, are they not allowed to climb stairs? Maybe seems like she's supposed 1945, to be rather, probably. She's supposed to be rather bedridden, it seems like. And that's what she's also pissed about, is that this baby's holding her That's hostage. the thing, yeah. The doctor comes over and is like, you know, you need to stop gadding about. Quote, unquote, mm. gadding about. You guys, you you women and your gadding <laughs> and your murders. She doesn't even look pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, you know, the rule is no shrimps, no stairs. That's right. the name of the game. And that's that's a policy actually that we follow on this podcast too. No shrimps, no stairs. And she's hating it, of course. So, and she watches as uh, Dick and Ruth do human things together in front of a projected backdrop, which is the Monterey Cliffs, of course, and Bar Harbor, uh, yeah, and so on and so forth. Ellen points out that Ruth is actually more fun than she is, and that she hates her own baby because she calls it a little beast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she also, mm-hmm. yeah. So she decides. Look, I can't do this baby thing anymore. Mm-hmm. This is really holding me back. Nobody wants to Babies hang out are with me. Overrated. Yeah. Newsflash. I, I thought this overrated. would bring us closer together, but really all it's done is brought him closer to sister cousin. So she concocts a plan. Shrishma, would you like to tell us about this plan right now? Yeah. So she, d- <laughs> she decides to send yeah. her baby to heaven. No. <laughs> she, oh, maybe she, that's what the reference is. Right, leave maybe, the baby leave, to heaven. Uh, but she basically throws herself down um, a flight of staircase. Stairs. Yeah. She, um, so she, she causes now causing herself harm to get rid of this child that she really doesn't yeah. want. Yeah. Just to have Richard. Just to have him all to herself. She's got to even in death. So here is where I would have drawn the line. <laughs> So, oh, this is the... This is... I mean, why would I hurt myself? Oh, oh, if you were in her right. shoes... Okay, okay. Right, I was right. like, I was thinking from Richard's perspective. I'm no. like, yeah, you don't think the brother death is, is enough to pull the plug <laughs> in this? Okay. Like, if, if I would, you know, like, kill... Uh, self-harm is where I would draw the line. Yeah, okay. Like being obsessive. Sure, about. sure. And I feel like, yeah, I mean, this is a testament to her craziness at this point because i mean she is a very uh wealthy well put together woman right. very smart charming when she wants to be but she's like i'm gonna show these motherfuckers i'm gonna show everybody i'm gonna get rid of this I baby always win yeah so she uh she takes a little uh a shoe and she wedges it into the carpet awkwardly and then she just goes for it she just takes a breath Flings and throws her herself. body down oh my god stairs. i mean it's and this is the second moment Within what 10 15 minutes, where I'm like, Oh my oh. god, like, what is this movie? <laughs> what is this? And that's why we're talking about it today, you guys. So the, then we cut to her having living her best life post yeah, so miscarriage. She is then I got really trim. confused because I thought this was actually Ruth. Um, but it's actually they do look her. a lot alike, they do. But she is out on the beach and she is swimming and she's having a great time, baby free, yeah. And she, and she made up some story about how she was sleepwalking. Mm. This is how it happened, apparently. And it is all so fake. At this point, though, Ruth wants to move out because the vibes are just too right. weird in the house. Right. She can't stand to live in the house. Yeah. So, And she's just like, with, with your love, you wrecked mother's life. With your love, you pressed father to death. With your love, you've made a shadow of Richard. You're the most pitiful creature I've ever known. Damn. Deal with that. Damn. Just truth being laid out by Ruth. That's, <laughs> the Ruth truth coming at you. <laughs> This is normal sibling behavior. <laughs> Carolyn, do you remember the time I told you about how you ruined our parents' lives and probably caused a divorce? No, 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 no. I, um, <laughs> no, but I do remember when you told me that um, I was raised by squirrels and you found me in the Colorado tundra. Oh, that does sound like me. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Look, it's the privilege of an older brother to I feel fuck like with the younger sister. I have a, I have a, a cousin's, <laughs> it's like an older brother and his younger sister. Yeah. And he always told her that um, they found her in the garbage. And then like, <laughs> 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 he just, I think, I I, I think I that's like, every <laughs> older sibling's <laughs> wish is that, like, we're not we actually, actually related. Love you, like, uh. <laughs> we just felt sorry for you. Yeah. You kind of, you kind of crashed our party yeah. and I I'm telling you that, like, you're not actually related. You're garbage. You're actual garbage. 